Hanukkah, the festival of lights of the consecration is a national celebration of the liberation of Jerusalem from the yoke of Antioch Epiphanes and the re-consecration of the temple by Judas of Maccabi in the year 165 BC. This holiday, lasting for eight days, is connected with the legend of the miraculous vessel of undesecrated oil blessed by the high priest, which was to have burned in the temple for one day, but which, miraculously, burned for a whole eight days. The symbol of the holiday is the eight-armed candelabra with an additional arm in the middle. You have six days in which to do your work, but the seventh day is a day of rest dedicated to me. On that day, no one is to work, neither you, your children, your slaves, your animals, nor the foreigners who live in your country. The fifth book of Moses. The Sabbath is a day of rest, a day of looking back as well as looking forward. This is a day of prayer, and prayer is an expression of thanks, gratitude and respect. On the eve of the Sabbath, the whole family meets at a festive table. Each holiday, the Sabbath included, starts in the evening of the previous day. This recitation of this psalm marks the transition from Friday to the Sabbath. The old new synagogue in Prague is the only place in the world where this psalm is recited twice in succession. This custom associated with the legend relating to Rabbi Loeb and his mystical golem or artificial man. The rabbi was just attending such a divine service when he found out that he had forgotten to take the magical sherm or life force out of Golem's for it. To prevent a disaster, he hurried home where Golem was already wreaking havoc and took the sherm out of his for it. In this way, though, he violated the covenant on the Sabbath as a day of rest, and so, on his return to the synagogue, he begged for the psalm to be recited again. Extension pieces called rimanim, in translation pomegranates, are fitted on to the Torah. In his book, The Jewess of Toledo, Leon Feuchtwanger wrote, the festival of Purim arrived the day on which the Jews celebrate their salvation at the moment of greatest need through the Queen Esther. The villain Haman, or the protege of King Ahasuerus, wanted to exterminate all the Jews of the Persian Empire because Jew Mardukaios once offended his vanity. But Haman's plans were eventually thwarted by Queen Esther, Mardukaios' niece. This one-day festival is full of dressing up, entertainment and merrymaking. The scroll of Esther is read out in the synagogue. Havdala is a domestic religious ceremony which culminates the Sabbath or other holidays. A 
a special pleated candle for the Havdala ceremony. A silver spice box from the late 19th century. It was manufactured by the filigree technique. All the members of the family are blessed over the spice box. We thank the Lord who has separated the sacred from the profane, light from darkness, and the Sabbath from work days. Moses said to his people, Remember this day, the day on which you left Egypt, the place where you were slaves. This is the day the Lord brought you out by his great power. The second book of Moses. Passar belongs among the pilgrimage festivals and lasts for eight days. This holiday falls on the month of the spring equinox known as Nisan, March according to our solar calendar. Bessar commemorates the exodus of the Jews from Egypt, their liberation from slavery. Sedar takes place on the first two evenings of the Passar holiday. This is a family holiday. A Sedar plate with unleavened bread, Passover bread and symbolic food. The Haggadah, the book describing the captivity and delivery of the Jews from Egypt. The duty to take care of the sick and the dying is anchored in the Talmud. Care for the infirm, dying and dead was exemplary in the Prague ghetto. Whoever died, rich or poor, was put into the dust on the earth by the funeral fraternity known as Chewra Kadish, founded in 1564. The Lord told Adam, For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return, the first book of Moses. The deceased would be cleansed and dressed. The bodies, covered by prayer robes called the talis, are sprinkled with soil from Jerusalem. Everybody, irrespective of former wealth or status, is treated with the same simplicity. The coffin is without decorations, made of rough planks. <laughs> 